love next strength and power I am the embodiment of hate The personification of evil No message shall shroud my eyes With the promise of power Broken bones and shattered thrones Will litter my path of chaos Total destruction Alright, what's going on you guys? So this video is going to be the part 2 um, to my Jeff Willett video. Um, for those of you who didn't see that video, Jeff Willett is a guy who claims to... Uh, have won an IFBB Pro card 100% naturally. Um, so a lot of you guys were wondering and asking me and messaging me and saying, you know, what competition um, in the NPC even drug tests? Um, because as a lot of you know, um, one of the ways to turn pro is the Nationals, the USAs, and these are obviously not drug tested competitions. Um, so I looked up the list of competitions and I did some more research on Jeff Willett, and apparently the way that he turned pro was by winning the... Uh, the NPC Team Universe. Now, this is a drug tested NPC show that offers or offered, um, I don't know if they still do this, but they offer an IFBB Pro card to the overall winner. Apparently, Jeff Willett was the overall winner to this competition in, you know, the early 2000s, I think. And, and that's how he turned pro. So, my question for you guys is those of you who have a, a familiarity with, with the Team Universe or who know anything about it, my question for you is how easy would it be to cheat a drug test for the team universe and what is the extent um, of the drug testing for this competition because I honestly don't know I know a lot of NPC I know a lot of NPC or natural shows that do drug test um, they just do a urine test uh, for testosterone levels and they do a uh, polygraph test now um, the thing that I the thing that I'm thinking is that this guy was taking some pro hormones because back in that time in the late 90s, early 2000s, when natural bodybuilding was kind of getting kicked off, um, or kind of getting started, I should say, um, pro hormones weren't on the banned substance list. Pro hormones weren't illegal. Pro hormones were being put in in regular supplements. Um, I believe there are a few Gaspari nutrition supplements back in the day that had some pro hormones in them, and and people knew this, and it wasn't illegal, and it was it was just a just a thing that supplement companies did was dusted their products with pro hormones. So these guys could have been loaded up on Tren or Dianabol or whatever. Um, and when they took that polygraph test and they were asked, did you take any illegal or banned substances before the show? Their answer would be truthful because at the time um, it wasn't illegal. But these, these guys can't obviously or won't go back and say, hey, I did take this substance um, back then, but it wasn't illegal because that would put an asterisk uh, next to their whole career and all their achievements. And they don't want to do that because a lot of these guys have built up businesses, personal training, supplement companies, websites, uh, gyms, and they don't want to they don't want to diminish their achievements because that's what they built their success on. And they don't want to go back, even though at the time it might have been okay. Um, a lot of people nowadays, you know, they're just going to see that as steroids are steroids, pro hormones are pro hormones. You cheated. And, and a lot of people just aren't going to aren't going to acknowledge their accomplishments. Um, so let me know what you guys think about the early uh, early days of natural bodybuilding and let me know what you guys know about this uh, NPC team universe and if it's if it's a, if it's a legit well tested thing because I know a lot of these uh, competitions don't do hair follicle tests don't do a blood test just a simple urine test which you know scouts on or you know anybody could really cheat that um, so let me know what you guys know thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel.